Kano is bustling. Unlike other cities affected by the Boko Haram insurgency, it appears to be business as usual here. But Kano and its residents aren't complacent, with good reason. In March, a series of explosions killed dozens of passengers at a popular bus park. These mangled shells are what's left of several buses which were blown up. Their passengers would have been men, women and children, mostly from the southeast of Nigeria, many of whom would have called this, the north, their home. Here at the bus park, the blast is just a distant memory. People are streaming in, filling up these buses which are heading out hundreds of kilometers across the country. They have no other alternative for public transport and they keep coming here even though the security threat remains real. What happened a few months ago gave me a sign of, uh, I mean, source of concern. Even, I mean, feeling, even as I'm standing here, I'm not, I don't feel secured. I don't feel secured because, uh, you know, somebody has to be careful. You, f you fear that this kind of thing can happen again? Uh, yes. As far as I'm concerned, uh, it could happen. The attacks happened in this part of town, home to communities from southern Nigeria, most of whom are Christians. I cannot say the security of the state is not threatened because I